In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my basket weave hat. And so you'll pick your main color of yarn. And for this one, I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. But if you need it to be smaller, you can use a smaller hook, which will create tighter stitches. So we're going to begin with a magic circle. And for round one, we're going to start by doing a chain three. So there's one, two, three. This chain three will count as your first double crochet. And now you're going to do 11 double crochet into this magic circle. And so counting that first chain three, you'll end up with 12 stitches. And here I've come to the end of the round. And now we're just gonna grab that beginning tail and give it a pull. And that's gonna close up that center hole. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. And that ends round one. For round two, we're going to begin by doing a chain three. So there's one, two, three. And now we're going to do a double crochet into that same stitch that we did the slip stitch in. And that chain three will count as one of your double crochets. And for the remainder of this round, you will do two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round two. And we're going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. And at this point, you should have 24 stitches. For round three, we're going to begin by doing a chain three. One, two, three. And then a double crochet into the same stitch that you did your slip stitch in. Next, we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. And for the remainder of this round, you'll do a repeating sequence of one double crochet increase. So that's two double crochets into this stitch. And then one double crochet into the next. So then you'll increase. And then the next stitch gets one. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. So this next stitch will get an increase, which is the two. And then the following stitch will only get one. And here I've come to the end of the round. And now I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. And at this point, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round four, we will begin with a chain three. So one, two, three. And now we're going to double crochet into the same stitch that we did our slip stitch. Next, we're going to do two double crochet. So there's one, two. Next, we're going to put three double crochet into this next stitch. So there's one, go back into the same stitch. There's two into the same stitch, and that makes three. Now we're going to do a repeating sequence 
of one double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one, two. Now we're going to do two double crochet into this next stitch. So back into the same stitch. Next, we do one double crochet in the next two stitches. And then three double crochet into this next stitch. There's one, two, three. And so now we're going to repeat that again. So one double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one, two. Now we're going to do two double crochet into this next stitch. So there's one back into the same stitch. There's two. And then double crochet into the next two stitches. One, two, and then three double crochet into this next stitch. There's one, back into the same stitch, two, and again into the same stitch, and that makes three. Now we'll just keep on repeating this all the way around. So two double crochet, two, the next stitch gets two double crochet, now we'll do a double crochet in the next two stitches, and then three double crochet into this next stitch, remember to go back into the same stitch, And repeat again. So one double crochet in the next two stitches, two double crochet into this stitch, one double crochet into the next two stitches, And then three double crochet into the next stitch. Two and three. And repeat again. So one double crochet in the next two stitches. The next stitch gets two double crochet. And then one double crochet in the next two stitches. And now we're just going to, uh, oh, the next stitch gets three double crochet. That leaves us with these last two stitches. And now we're just going to do one double crochet in those last two stitches. And then to finish the round, we're going to do a front post slip stitch. So we're going to come behind this post like that and do a slip stitch. And that finishes this round. And at this point, hopefully, you should have 54 stitches. For rounds five and six, 
You'll begin with a chain three, one, two, three. Next, you're going to do a front post double crochet around the next two stitches. So go under the post, so coming in from the front, go under the post, come back out. That pushes that post forward and do your double crochet. And then another one. Okay, and this chain three counted as our first double crochet. So that will count as three front post double crochets. So next we're going to do three back post double crochets. So for the back post, you're gonna come in from behind your work over the post and then back through. So that pushes the post towards the back of the work. So you're going to do three of those. So there's one. Move to the next one. There's two. And three. And so for the remainder of the round, you're going to do a repeating sequence of three front post double crochet, followed by three back post double crochet, and you'll continue to repeat the three front post and the three back post all the way around. To finish round five, you'll do a front post slip stitch, and then you'll move on to round six, doing your chain three. And to end round six, we're going to do a back post slip stitch. So instead of coming in from behind, you're gonna go in between the two posts and do your slip stitch. And that's for the end of round six. For round seven and eight, we'll begin with a chain three, two, three. And then we'll begin by doing two back post double crochets. So come in from the back. There's one, two. And for the remainder of both rounds, you're going to alternate and do, you'll do a repeating sequence of three front post double crochet. One, two, three followed by three back post double crochet. One, two, three. And so you'll continue to repeat three front post double crochet and then three back post double crochet. And I'll meet you at the end of the rounds. When you come to the end of round seven, you're going to finish with a back post slip stitch. So you're gonna come in through the front here and do your slip stitch, and then continue on with your chain three to begin round eight. When you come to the end of round eight, you will finish with a front post slip stitch. So you're going to come in from underneath and do your slip stitch. For rounds nine and 10, to begin, you'll do a chain three, two, three. And then you're going to be doing two front post double crochet. 
There's one, two, and then for the remainder of the round, you're going to alternate between three back post double crochets. There's one, two, three, followed by three front post double crochets. There's one, two, three. So you'll continue to alternate between three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet. To finish round nine, you're going to end with a front post slip stitch and continue on to round 10. And then to finish round 10, you're going to end with a back post slip stitch. For rounds 11 and 12, you'll start with the chain three and then do two back post double crochet. And then for the remainder of the round, you'll do a repeating sequence of one of three front post double crochet. and three back post double crochet. And so you'll continue to alternate between three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet. And that will be for rounds 11 and 12. To finish round 11, you'll do a back post slip stitch and then do your chain three for round 12. And then when you finish round 12, you will do a front post slip stitch. For rounds 13 and 14, you'll begin with a chain three, followed by two front post double crochet, And then you'll alternate between three back post double crochet, two, three, and three front post double crochet. Two and three. So you'll continue to alternate between three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet. So here I've just did my front post, so next will be the back post and then the front and back and front. And you'll continue this until you've reached the end of your rounds. To finish round 13, you'll do a front post slip stitch and then continue with your chain three for the next round. And to finish round 14, you'll do a back post slip stitch. For rounds 15 and 16, you'll begin with your chain three, followed by two back post double crochet. And then you'll alternate between three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet. Two, 
three. And so you'll continue to alternate between front post double crochet and back post double crochet, doing three of each until you reach the end of round 16. To finish round 15, you'll do a back post slip stitch. And to finish round 16, you'll do a front post slip stitch. For rounds 17 and 18, you'll begin with your chain three and do a front post double crochet in the next two and then you'll just alternate your front and back posts so three back post double crochet And then three front post double crochet and continue to alternate doing three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet. To finish round 17, you'll do a front post slip stitch and then continue on to round 18. And to finish round 18, we're going to do a back post slip stitch. And then you'll continue on to your next rounds. For rounds 19 and 20, you'll begin with your chain three. And then do two back post double crochet. And then for the remainder of the round, you'll alternate um, doing three front post double crochet. And three back post double crochet. There's one. two, three. So continue to alternate your three front post double crochet and your three back post double crochet until you get to the end of round 20. To finish round 19, you'll do a back post slip stitch and then continue on with round 20. And to finish round 20, you're going to do a front post a slip stitch. For rounds 21 and 22, you'll begin with your chain three and then do two front post double crochet. And then for the remainder of the round, you'll alternate between three back post double crochet Three and then three front post double crochet. And so you'll just continue to repeat alternating between your back post double crochet and your front post double crochet until you've reached the end of round 22. To finish round 21, we're going to do a front post slip stitch. And then you're ready to do your chain three and begin round 22. And for round 22, you're not going to join it. You just place a stitch marker 
and move on to round 23. For round 23, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So take your hook and go into the stitch at the top of that beginning chain. Do your single crochet and then you're just going to continue to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And here I've come to the end of round 23. I'm going to remove that stitch marker and then just slip stitch into the next stitch. And you should have ended up with 54 stitches going around round 23. And then you'll cut your yarn. And don't forget to weave in this piece and the piece from the very beginning. And there you go. Basket weave hat is finished.